Okay, so my frame is finally here. Uh, Tomoquaz has uh, finally cut the prototype for me. Uh, you guys have seen some pictures and renders and stuff on Facebook and my Instagram. But uh, this is the prototype frame and probably pretty close to the final version. Obviously I still need to fly it and the main thing that I want to test out is uh, this little idea that I had of um, mounting HD cameras like the Slip Mini and the Turtle so that uh, you get less jello vibration. And this is sort of the floating camera idea. There's these, uh, this 3D printed part here is just like a, it's like a lip that's around the part here like this. And it just, you know, it's basically friction fit into this hole in the frame. And then when the camera is screwed in, it'll actually hold it in place. Uh, if possible on a really hard crash, it could pop off. Um, I haven't really tested that. But the idea is the camera to be floating uh, in this uh, basically flexible material which will reduce vibrations and have, have none of the camera actually touching the side plates or any of the carbon or actually where all the vibrations are. So that's one of the things that I didn't like about the El Camino which is what mainly what this frame is based off of. So you've seen this one on my channel before. It's another Tomoquaz design and uh, I've flown this quite a bit. Um, one of, the, one of the things I don't like is the jello that, that, that this particular frame produces. On, this is, in this case, is the turtle camera. The split mini is the same. They're both uh, subs, uh, uh, vulnerable to vibrations from the motors. And, you know, when this uh, when the renders for this came out, everyone said, oh, it's a clone of the Acrobat. This is, it doesn't look anything like the Acrobat, in my opinion. Um, if anything, there's two designs that I basically took ideas from. One, The first one, obviously, is the... El Camino. I mean, that's it's very, very similar. It's off, ba mainly based off of this design, another Tomoquaz design, three-inch lightweight uh, HD platform type of frame. Then I wanted to create a different front end with this camera uh, mounting idea that I had, which required a modification up here. Of course, I still wanted to have no props in view. That's uh, very, very important to me. I do not like props in my HD video. And then the other idea that I took was basically from this frame here. This is the Catalyst Machine Works um, Massive Droner. It has this uh, little front bar here that basically firms up the the frame. It stiffens it up and it will help it in crashes. So I, I borrowed that idea here for this front brace as well. Obviously going from uh, this H style design on the El Camino uh, to this more of a traditional X shape design this is where this idea came from. We originally were thinking just converting it from H style to sort of an X style and didn't have this at first, but then uh, we had a standoff in the front here, one, in the, one on top uh, with a lot of extra weight, plus it didn't seem like it was very firm up here. So uh, I borrowed that idea from the Catalyst Machine Works Massive Joiner. And I think this is why uh, people think it looks like the Acrobat because the Acrobat also has this sort of front brace and has one in the back as well. Uh, but that's a totally different design, different, a different concept uh, in terms of what I guess uh, Tommy wanted out of his frame and what, what I want out of my frame is completely different. I wanted something very lightweight and uh, I've actually asked Tomoquaz to keep the 9mm motor mount instead of a 12mm so that uh, people can't put a large uh, 1306 or 1408 or 1508 motor on this because this is frame is not designed for those those type of motors. The Acrobat is going to be more for your liking. If you like those big giant motors, uh, you're going to probably want to go with the Acrobat frame. This is for a lightweight setup. Um, ideally, I think the best motor I think is going to be on this one is going to be the 1206 GFRC motor or some other type of 1206 motor, or maybe a 1304 motor, something like that with a 9mm motor design uh, is what I was sort of targeting. The reason is, is, as you can see, this frame is pretty light. And again, it's also based off of the El Camino design. So everything here is two millimeter carbon plates. So the main plate's two millimeters, the brace is two millimeters, the side plates are two millimeters. So it's gonna keep the overall uh, frame weight down. And if you keep the smaller moves on here, the overall uh, weight is gonna be down as well, which is less likely you're gonna break it in a crash. If you, if you have a two millimeter bottom plate, you put a large and really heavy 1506 motor on here, you have a crash, you're probably gonna break it. So I'm just going to, uh, show you what the weight is. This is with the uh, TPU parts, the arm bumpers, and of course you absolutely need this 
camera mount, of course. Um, it's coming in at about 41.8 grams. So uh, it's a little bit heavier than the El Camino without any uh, TP parts. The TP parts do add a little bit of extra weight. Uh, there's also a little bit more carbon here because it's a little bit taller here, so you can have um, uh, a little bit more electronics in here if you want. It still has the same uh, slots here for your dual mounts for your split mini and your ESC flight control video transmitter. So that and, and, the, and the slots are for different size boards and stuff, so you can slide them back and forth. And their uh, slots are for M3 screws. And also on the camera mount as well, there's I put a little slot in here as well because the Turtle and the Split Mini cameras have different uh, lens lengths. So I think the Turtle is a little bit shorter, so you have to move that forward, and the Split Mini is a little bit longer, so you can move that back. So that's what that little slot there's for. And so yeah, I'm gonna. I think the next video you'll see is actually this is flying a flight demo after I build it out and I'll put some 1206 uh, 4500 kV motors in here. I'm gonna fly under 4S. I put a uh, turtle v2 in here and we'll see if the uh, if there's any jello or not that's why i'm hoping that this little uh, idea would fix and if it does then hope, hopefully some other people will actually use this idea as well i'm, uh, I'm thinking this all this might if this if this if idea actually works out pretty well i think you'll see a lot more of this in other designs where people are using hd video like the split mini or the turtle okay so in terms of the name i know i got a lot of suggestions for various names out there uh, some more vocal than others, but I'm, the one that caught my attention, the one that I like actually, is actually from uh, Frequent Flyer RC. I think uh, his name is Jamal. Uh, he suggested the name AK Crossbow because it does kind of look like a crossbow. So I'm, I think I'm going to be going with that name. Uh, yeah, unless uh, someone else has a much better name that they would like to suggest. I think that one is the one I'm liking so far for this frame design. Uh, and it's probably most likely what I'm going to be going for. So anyway. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any other suggestions in the description or I mean down below in the comment section. Um, and, and I'll have a future video with this built out and some flight footage. Uh, in terms of when this will be ready, I, I think it's going to depend on my testing. I, I don't want to release this until I know that it at least uh, fixes the jello problems that I was having before. Uh, and it flies as well as I like. I'm, I'm not looking for a performance piece here, it's not for, really for racing. This is more for casual flying, capturing HD footage, and in a really small form factor with decent flight times, and you can kind of pretty much fly it anywhere you want. So that's what I'm looking for. That was the goals of uh, this design and what I wanted to get out of this frame. So I'll have a future video pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.